Alright y'all. Throw out a little reminder there. If you're watching all these videos I'm making, these short videos of these cars, don't forget to hit the like button if you don't mind. If you forgot to, go back and hit it. And if you say to yourself, no, I'm not going to, well then don't. Poo poo on you. I got an EK's car. It's new for 2024. It is number 123 out of 250. Number 3 out of 5 of the Hot Wheels Turbo K like Project GTP Hypercar. Detroit, Michigan. Cadillac. Behold the Cadillac of the future. Sporting an all new 5.5 liter V8 engine. Paired with electronic motor. This slick, beautiful speedster is the stealth fighter design as a hypercar. Oh, wow. It's got batteries in it. Well, hopefully it don't catch on fire and burn down somebody's house. Oh, that's nice. They ain't gonna roll good though. Yeah, that's what I figured. It's just flat underneath, real low. You know, like a race car that would be at Le Mans or something, you know. But unfortunately, one thing that sucks about this car, see them headlights? I don't see them on there, do you? I don't even see any sculpting to show where they would go. Yeah. They'll make that. They'll make that again. They're going to make that. They'll make it next year, watch. It'll probably be in the Exotic Envy or some sort of supercar series. And they'll make a premium of it. It'll be just like it, except it'll have real riders and probably them stupid disc wheels. It'll have real riders and headlights and all the other stuff. Alright, let's get a better look. Alright, I definitely think that this car is awesome and one of, one of the good ones to get out of the case for sure. First off, you know, you, you never really get too many Cadillacs. And it's a new hyper car. And unlike a lot of the other castings that they make of super cars and hyper cars, they always have that plastic capsule bubble gumball machine roof on them you know it's just like a lot of plastic and they all look alike but this one has got some heft and um i explained a while back how these rims like they're on that 70 cuda and i don't like them on there but look how good they look on this car they're going to look good on the real expensive high dollar cars like this. Definitely a good one out of the case, I think. I am a little bit tempted to want to drill this apart and put some clear coat on it. Make it all gloss black. But I'm not going to do that. This car would probably be flat black on purpose. Just to keep the glare out of the driver's eyes. And uh, out of a lot of the supercars and hypercars, this this one is kind of appealing. It's nice. All right. See y'all later.